Welcome to Love, Dream, Live, your source of life lessons that inspire you to love intensely, dream relentlessly, and live passionately. Our goal is to help you create harmony in your work, personal life, and self-discovery journey. Welcome your host, Aida, with today's topic. Hello and welcome. Today we will be talking about being a creator and being a creative person who creates either content or products that help you distribute your knowledge and your wisdom to other people and help you shine in whatever areas that you are very talented at. And I wanted to share my personal story. I actually used to try to do content creation and I was doing it from a state of urgency and a state of lack. So in my mentality, I just had a lot of lack in my mentality and I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't have any passive income. I'm going to create this product because I need passive income. And I kept saying, oh, you know, I have urgency. I got to do this. And the more I did that, the more frustration I experienced and I would shut down and there was no creativity I started feeling like I could never create a product because I was approaching creating products or content from a state of lack or a state of urgency. Like, I have to do this. There's a timeline. There's a deadline. There's income that needs to be made. And so that helped me back for a lot of time because I just couldn't get myself over that giant hurdle of creating a product or content or anything like that. And although I took some courses and online classes and things like that, like I found it inspiring to go to like see John Lee Dumas at Podcast Movement and all these people that are, seem like they're natural speakers and it just comes to them naturally. And I'm like, this is not going to work for me. I'm, it's not happening. And then I would record videos, tutorial videos, and my voice sounded really choppy and a little bit monotone and it just didn't come through like my personality was not shining through because I was too busy trying to focus on creating urgency creating content and having passive income and the more that you rush it the more that you have that urgency the less likely that your product will be a success because people can tell whenever you're creating something and Whatever your tone is on your voice, people can tell. So you can actually repel people from your content. If you try to create content or products from a state of lack and urgency, you can actually drive people away. So the same thing goes for your blog post. If you're writing a blog post and you're kind of doing it in a rush because you've got to have a, a new blog post published by a certain date, you kind of rush through it, make it quick, and then, you know, you wonder why is it not getting shared, why is it not getting likes, or whatever you're trying to do, comments. The biggest thing is people can tell. People are able to tell whether that content or product that you created, whether it came from a state of abundance or a state of lack. I encourage you to pour your love, pour your attention into any product or any content that you create because that is where you're going to be able to shine and do it in a way that is not rushed or hurried. You're not doing it because you have to, like you're doing it because you enjoy the process and the content creation or product creation process, it's a long process and it can take a lot of time to develop your voice, to develop your process and the different things that you need to do. But the reality is that there is no shortcut. And no matter how many courses that you take, no matter how many classes that you sign up for online, not even if you join webinars, all these things, if you don't create your own content and start creating content for yourself, then none of that's going to matter. So the way that I broke through my limitation and my frustration was that I decided I was going to start really, really small. And what I did was I would voice record myself on my iPad for like five minutes every single day. So I did that for like a month. I would record myself every single day for five minutes. Now, this was more just like my personal journal. So it was nothing that I was intending to publish or get out in public. But I just did that for myself because I knew that as soon as I started getting comfortable 
with my voice, with recording myself, then I could then from that move on to something bigger. That's where I started and that's what I did. I also did the same thing for video. So I would record some videos on my computer. I would spend hours editing a 10 minute video because I had so many ums, I had so many things to edit out that I just got frustrated. I'm like, I'm not doing video anymore because it's gonna take me an hour to record a 10 minute video. And so I just kind of gave up on that as well. But then after I've been recording on my iPad, voice recording myself, I've actually gone really good 30 minute or 45 minute videos where I had to do very minimal recording because I was used to recording myself and listening to my voice. And that's all it really takes is getting used to your voice, allowing yourself to shine through whether it be in video or audio or any other type of content that you decide to create. So I really encourage you that if you're wanting to create a product or any content, that you start really, really small and think, what can you do in five minutes? Like what small step can you do every single day for five minutes that will get you closer to where you're going? Because you're not going to wake up one day suddenly and be John Lee Dumas and record one hour podcast every single day and publish them. That's unrealistic. So you're going to have to really break it down and start really small. And from there, make sure that you stay very consistent and that you pour all your love and attention into your product or your content because they're your babies. All of these creative creations are like an extension of you. Thank you for listening and I will be back very soon. Goodbye. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe and share this episode with a friend. Visit lovedreamlive.com for more. And remember to stop waiting. Decide to choose yourself. You can experience unconditional love. Create the life of your dreams and live in harmony and abundance every single day. See you again soon.